So to those who don't know, there was some boxing from Italy. It was shown live here in the US on ESPN+. Plus. The main event was this fight between Guido Vianello and Jay McFarlane. Fight was scheduled for 8 rounds. I thought it was scheduled for 10 rounds. Because I'm going to be honest, after 6 rounds, I was like, Guido got this, he's going to win. I'm going to start washing the dishes. And next thing you know, I hear the fight's already over. Like, I'm just listening to the commentary. And I was like, what? The fight's already over? And it turns out the fight was only scheduled for 8 rounds. I, for some reason, I... I Completely forgot it was scheduled for eight rounds. Anyway, Guido won the fight by unanimous decision. All three judges had it in his favor. 80-72, 80-72. Uh, one judge gave one round to uh, Jay McFarlane, 79-73. Um, now, I didn't really watch the last two rounds, so I don't know what you know who won the last two rounds, but the first six I gave to uh, Guido Vianello. I thought he did a good job moving around playing it safe, using the jab, keeping it, you know, keeping in range, um, um, keeping the distance and, uh, you know, following up with his punches and landing some good clean shots on Jay McFarlane. Jay McFarlane landed one, two good shots here and there, uh, especially in the first round, in the beginning of the first round, uh, from the get-go, he landed a good shot, but, uh, uh, you know, Guido was able to take his punches pretty, uh, pretty well, um, but, you know, I'm going to be honest, man, you know, these are the type of fights, these are the type of fighters that world-class level fighters should be knocking out. I feel like Guido should work more on stepping in with his punches, um, you know, just to add more weight into the punches. Uh, but, you know, other than that, it was a good fight from Guido, his movement, uh, again, that chin, I feel like he still needs to tuck it, tuck it in a little bit more. Um, but a win is a win. And Guido got the win. And with this win, he remains undefeated. Um, Boxer has yet to update it. Fight literally just ended moments ago. 10-0 uh, now as a pro. One draw. Uh, and actually, this is his first time going the distance since uh, the draw that he had. So his first distance win. Going the distance. A win going the distance. So 10-0 now. Uh, Guido, um, looking forward to seeing how his career will play out. And uh, hopefully, uh, top rank will deliver some good fights for him. As for Jay McFarlane, uh, 24 years old, now suffering his seventh loss in his pro career. He was like 200 something pounds for this fight. I mean, he weighs around 270. Um, you know, he's a tough guy. He does. He's a tough guy. He can take a punch. Um, but yeah, you know, at some point, you gotta think for yourself and for your health and for your family. You want to keep moving on and just be a punching bag against some of these heavyweights, or you know, I just and Jay McFarlane's skill set is very limited, and plus it looked like he kind of hurt his right hand in this fight. Correct me if I'm wrong, like he was wincing a little bit. Um, but yeah, he, he, you know, he's 24 years old, but at the same time, I feel like he needs to think about what's next after boxing. Yes, just for his health. You know, you don't want to just keep taking punch after punch. It's not good for you for the long in the long run. So, anyway, good fight. If you saw it, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.